there YouTube. Today I'm going to show you all this 1995 Mercedes-Benz C280 with 139,000 miles. This is known as the W202 generation of the C-Class, meaning it's the first generation which commenced in 94, 2000 being the final year. I myself owned a 2000 C230 compressor, which many of you have known about, but unfortunately I never got around to making a tour of. But Here's this car, it's in amazing shape. No signs of dents, scratches, or anything. Just a perfect example. This car is essentially a baby S-Class. Screams solidity everywhere. Interior, exterior, and the car has much better qualities in and out than the uh, generation that replaced this, the W203, which I recently made a tour of. Glass headlamp lenses, the trademark monoblade wiper, the coolest thing about the old classic Benzes. Car rides on 195-65-15s, rear disc brakes, has an independent rear suspension and a multi-link setup in back. Car does have tall shoulders, kind of bland and conservative, but not an ugly car to look at. Has dual exhaust tips down there. Looking on this side, you can see the condition of this thing is amazing everywhere. Just the age. Now the final years of the W202, I believe in 98, Mercedes made the taillights a little bit darker. You can see these are a little bit brighter. If you guys compare pictures of my C-Class, you'll see what I mean by that. Now, inside the trunk, just so much wind noise. Now, the trunk is large, tall, deep. Spare tires under here, full-size spare, the battery, jack to the side. Looks as if it were never used. The car's very clean, carpets and etc. Hinges are concealed, they don't intrude with cargo. And the classic Mercedes buzzard. I think it was annoying, but I think it's a cool little thing. Now, materials on the door panel, everything is soft to the touch. Pattern on the side, down here, bottom coated in this cloth, wood grains. You can see right there, more thigh support, backrest. Unfortunately, the headrest doesn't uh, work. All right, this car doesn't seem to have a key fob. Either it's missing or it never came with one. It's 95, so it's a 50-50 shot. Now the point of this tour is so that you get a feel of the W202 generation, so you guys can compare it to the W203 C240 that I recently made a tour of. Now, in terms of comfort, Mercedes is known to uh, make rather flat and hard seats, and it's somewhat the case, but it's not bad. They're cushiony, perforated inserts, backrest hugs your back nicely. If anything, these seats are a little bit softer than the 2000 C230 that I had. It's quite strange. And this isn't leather either. This is a, uh, this is a form of vinyl. Entire dashboard is padded. It's a hard vinyl, but it's padded even down there too. The wood grain that goes from end to end on the dashboard. Glove box is tiny. It's a little slit in the dashboard, but again, everything is padded throughout here. The wood grains surrounding the climate control and the radio. Rear defogger, door locks, hazards, automatic climate control. The radio only has cassette. And, believe it or not, uh, this thing has in dash six cassettes. I don't know if that's the term for it. Um, yeah, you can store seven cassettes in here. It's just like an in dash six, six disc right here. Ashtray and the power outlets. I'm sorry if the picture is washed out. The sun is beaming in here. I can't do anything about that. Both front windows have auto down functions. Window lock, power mirrors. Uh, the wood over here, you can see the gloss or the clear coat is just peeling away over here. The car uses a four-speed automatic. It's been around since the early 80s. Same exact gearbox found in the S-Class, E-Class, and etc. And this, there's no cup holder. It's possible that you can squeeze a cup in there. Center console is sure-footed, rather deep. And there's this upper section when you pull this tab. As you can see, the lid is sturdy, doesn't jiggle around. Top is padded. The steering wheel, you can tell the paint is uh, peeling away. It's an 18-year-old car. Instrument speed wiper, you can see the monoblade wiper in action. Headlamps, pull for fogs and pull a second time for the rear fogs. The e-brake, like so. And believe it or not, this steering wheel doesn't tilt or telescope. This is a very basic model. Headliners plush, it's one big hunk of vinyl. Stationary oh shit handles, sun visors are thick and cushiony. Mirror and vanity lights. The rear view mirror doesn't dim, it's a tilt function. The map lights, dome light. Sunroof works, so you guys can see. 
tilts. And the driver's side sun visor with the mirror and vanity light. Everything works. Now the back seat was uh, never known to be roomy, um, though whenever I carried passengers in my C-Class they really didn't complain, so I don't know about the feedback. Materials are good on the door panel, everything is soft to the touch. Again, the wood grains, power windows, you can see the uh, armrest. And there should be a first aid kit in here. It's gone, but that's where it should have been. Amazingly, this one doesn't have headrests. The C230 that I owned had headrests back here. Look at the front seat again. And this is the uh, end result of legroom, at least Mercedes out of these inserts. It's really not that good at all, the legroom, but tolerable, because I had the seat adjusted to where I prefer, M61, and there's no wiggle room, but it's right at the borderline. The seat does have a lot of thigh support. It's very comfortable, actually. And uh, ashtray. 2.8 liter inline six cylinder to look at cam, 194 horsepower. rev limit very smooth engine you know these engines really had issues with uh, the wiring harness or just with the coils um, something with the insulation and the wire somewhere around that arena and which the car would begin misfiring like crazy but fortunately this car doesn't seem to have that problem really, this engine is just as smooth as the that of a BMW sounds like one too So guys, I just wanted to show you around this W202, and I hope you all can uh, somewhat grasp what I meant by uh, qualities being better in the W202 as opposed to the uh, W203, which in my opinion went downhill. Uh, this was a much more solid Benz. Fortunately, Mercedes began uh, going back to their roots somewhat with the uh, W204, which commenced in 08. Mercedes does have my attention with that Generation C class, fortunately. So anyways, YouTube, thanks for watching, and hope you all enjoyed this tour.